Hello and uh, welcome to our today's session. So in our previous uh, form builder session, uh, we covered form builder interface. And now in our session, we will go through the process of creating a new form uh, using O3 form builder in OpenMRS. So by the end of this session, you will be able to to design forms that are tailored to your healthcare needs or without having to write a single line of code. So let's just go ahead and uh, start creating a new form. Uh, so when you click on the form builder here, it will now take you to uh, the dashboard uh, that you can see that basically has uh, the other forms that you have created before. And you can see that some are published and the rest are still in draft. Uh, so let's just click on create a new form button so that now we can go into where the form building actually takes place. And uh, for this session, we are going to use uh, the interactive builder and let's just start building the form right away so when you click on start building link here you get prompted to enter the form details and under the form name you need to write or you're required to write uh, or to give uh, your form a clear and descriptive name uh, for example let us use uh, COVID form exam as an example. And uh, in terms of the form description, uh, bri briefly you are required to describe the form, uh, the form's purpose. For example, for our case, uh, the COVID form, uh, we can say that this is a form for enrolling, uh, form for enrolling, patients into COVID program. So go ahead and uh, click on create form uh, to save the form details. And now uh, from here, the next step is to add a page to our form. Uh, so the forms uh, in O3 are organized into pages and this makes makes it easier uh, to manage uh, where you have large forms. And uh, for purpose of this demo, we are going to uh, create uh, two pages so that we can uh, see how that looks like. But uh, you can create as many pages or as, as you need. Uh, each focusing on a different aspect of your data collection. So let's create uh, two pages uh, for a COVID form. Uh, one that focuses on uh, COVID-19 signs and symptoms. Let me just go ahead. COVID-19 signs and symptoms. Let me save that page. And then we can also create another a uh, page that is focusing on COVID-19 tests. COVID-19 tests. So those are our two pages uh, within this form. And after adding the pages, now you can see we have our two pages. We can add now um, a section uh, within the page. So the section helps you group uh, related questions uh, together. And, and this is really key in ensuring that the form is logically organized. So under COVID-19 signs and symptoms, let's create a section, uh, some sections here. We can have our first section as visit details. We can also add another section known as patient details.
and uh, we can also add the third one known as presenting presenting conference okay so we have our sections three sections within our our first page and uh, under the second page we can just create uh, one section uh, covid-19 tests covid 19 tests okay so here now once we have our sections we are actually now ready to add on questions to each of the sections and uh, we can go into our first um, section which is on the visit details and uh, add uh, a couple of questions there. So at the visit details, we, are go we can add encounter location. Uh, so for, for each of the, the question, basically, you need to provide uh, information regarding that question. And uh, as you can see, the first uh, information that is required regarding that question is the question name or the label, uh, the question ID. And uh, it's good to mention that a question ID needs to be unique for each question. And this is really crucial for data mapping and analysis. So we use a camel case. Uh, so this feature here is going to just convert your label into camel case. Um, and then we do have the other configuration of the question properties, which is uh, as to whether the question is going to be required or optional. Then we also do have the question type. You need to specify uh, the question type and we'll look into this uh, a little bit more into details in another session. And also we'll need to uh, specify uh, how we would want our read the question to render or how the question will be displayed. Like, is it going to be a text or a date or a multi checkbox and so on. And we'll also look into this in uh, details uh, later. So for our encounter location question, this is going to be an encounter location uh, question type and it's a UI select extended rendering type. I want to add another question here, encounter, encounter date. And for the encounter date, this is going to be an encounter date time in terms of the question type, it will render as a date. So here you can select whether you want to um, correct data, uh, both the calendar and the time or the calendar only or the timer only. Um, and I'm going to just go for the calendar only. Um, let me add another final question under the visit details section, which is encounter provider, encounter provider. Uh, encounter provider uh, has the question type of encounter provider and uh, UI select extended uh, rendering. So within my visit section, um, they have the, the visit details uh, regarding this patient uh, that I would like to correct. And I am good with that. I want to capture uh, something allowed uh, the patient details. And here example that I can capture under the patient details is around uh, the smoking, smoking, status. So this is going to be an observation type of question and uh, the rendering type is select. So here under the um, search for a backing concept, uh, 
it, it's good to mention that uh, you can either use a code if you know it um, right away. So you can type the code itself. Uh, for example, I'm just trying to type 1064. Okay, so 1054. So when you start typing, basically it should be able to give you uh, uh, some of the codes that exist uh, but uh, if you don't know that, uh, for example, I can't remember the code for the smoking status, you can as well try and type the smoking, but it is important that you should know uh, the backing concept before you even uh, look for it here uh, so that you are able to be clear. So for example, if I, let me just try type 163201. Um, Sorry, I need to repeat this again. Smoking status. Oops. And uh, this is select. So I type one six three two zero one. Right now, you are able to get uh, your 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 concept, and. Uh, you can, we can save this concept and uh, basically for the concepts um, it, it's basically they are basically linked uh, or integrate with your existing data to ensure that your form is aligned with the medical terminologies and uh, that links your question to the standardized clinical data uh, ensuring consistency across uh, your records uh, so we have added that uh, concept, uh, smoking status, and uh, we can add also one question here allowed presenting comprints. So let me add COVID. Presenting. Presenting. Comprints. So this is also an OBS or observation type of question. And uh, one might have multiple uh, symptoms and signs or complaints. And so I'm going to select the multi checkbox so that I will be able to, or the system issue will allow me to select uh, multiple complaints that the patient has provided themselves or has um, has presented themselves with. So for backing concept, I need also to know again uh, which concept that represents COVID-19. Uh, signs and symptoms in 14 days. This is what I'm looking for. And uh, so the concepts, some of the concepts really uh, will have uh, answers um, that you will need now to select uh, depending on what you want to see uh, or to use for your system. So I will go ahead and select everything under the answers for presenting complaints in the last 14 days. Uh, and then save. Uh, so I have basically uh, created um, the pages for my form. I have created the sections and I have also created the questions. Uh, when we render the changes, and preview, we are able to start seeing uh, the how our form is uh, is coming along. So you can see we have the page under COVID nineteen signs and symptoms showing the visit details, and here we have the encounter location, dates, and uh, encounter provider. I think we have an issue here. Uh, maybe 
regarding the concept, I will need to troubleshoot, but we are not going to look at it right away. Uh, we'll look into this much later. And again, we also do have um, our third section here, or yes, that, that, that do have the question allowed presenting conference. And as you can see, it's a multi-select and uh, it has the answers that we picked uh, as we were creating this form. Uh, so this is like, basically it's in terms of intro to uh, how you uh, create uh, your form and uh, how you configure and add the properties uh, to your questions uh for our next session we'll explore some of the question types like like i mentioned uh area and uh we will look into uh also the rendering type so the rendering type and also the question type we will basically uh take some of the examples that you're likely to come across uh, when you're building your forms Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.